Well, hey, hey, everybody, it's Michael Guevara again, one of the managers of the Conservatory of Music. And in this little video, I just wanted to address what we have come up many times is practice or practice tips. Now, as a parent, there will come a time in the future when you'll just wonder, is my child practicing correctly? Are they practicing enough? What do they need to do to practice right? All these kinds of little things. And I'd like to give you a little bit of my experience of teaching music lessons for over 30 years. First of all, there's different ways and child, uh, children react differently to the way they are told to practice. Now, it's very possible that in the future, the word practice may be considered a four-letter word to your child. So instead, sometimes, and you know your child better than anybody, you might address it as, it's time to go make some music, things of that nature, instead of that negative sounding word practice sometimes. Another thing that comes up is the belief that a child needs to practice for X minutes a day. And typically, a general rule of thumb had been generally 30 minutes a day. Well, yes, it's good if your child will practice 30 minutes a day. That'll be wonderful, especially if they're just beginners. But 30 minutes to a child can seem like an eternity. So I wanted to let you know that it is okay to break down that 30 minute amount of time that you want them to practice into perhaps two 15 minute sessions, maybe 15 minutes in the morning before they go to school and 15 minutes in the evening. Yes, it's still even possible to break it down if you have the time to do this into 10 minute intervals as well. That's certainly uh, something that uh, can be done as well. But 30 minutes is not uh, set in stone either. You know, the younger the child, it's okay to go a little bit less than that. That would be all right too. But the other factor is sometimes children will get so fixated on the time that they really won't practice well during that time. And one of the things that can be done, especially for the younger children, is not so much worry about the time that they're practicing, but the number of times they practice a piece. For example, play this little song five times. Play this little exercise seven times. And that way the child's going through the whole thing and they're counting how many times they played it, not knowing that they put in the amount of time that they need to to accomplish what the teacher has set out. So these are just little things there. And of course, one of the things that can be done after a nice little practice session occasionally with your child at home, give them a little reward, a little piece of candy, maybe take them out to ice cream every now and then. All of those things will just encourage them to keep on moving forward. Definitely it's not something you do all the time, but just every now and then to show them that you appreciate the effort that they're putting into it as well. So hopefully this will help you as you continue to move forward in this music lesson experience with us. And I'll be back again in the not too distant future. Thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.